Hi, this is Tracy with Beyond 20. Uh, this is part three of creating uh, a kind of a more simple catalog item uh, with a flow behind it. So far, we've uh, part one, we created the catalog item. Part two, we've started the flow. Uh, in this part, we're gonna continue working on that flow, uh, making sure we've got everything. So in this flow, basically, we're saying we've uh, the trigger is going to be our service catalog item. We've gotten our catalog variables from that catalog item, and then we've asked for an approval. So now we're going to determine what happens with that approval. And like I said, because this is a simple one, we'll just go through a couple of quick steps here. Um, and then uh, right now we're working on the rejected approval, and then we'll work on the uh, what happens if it actually gets approved. So uh, we did at the very end create this if statement here, uh, where if the state uh, of the approval state is rejected, then what do we do? So we're done with that. And now let's start with, well, what's going to happen then? So what we're going to do here is, well, if it gets rejected, then I just kind of want to close the item. So I want to go to uh, update a record. And that record is the requested item record. So I'm going to drop that down here. And the fields, it's going to be, I want to put my state uh, to close complete here. All right. Uh, now I'm actually going to add another step here. And this is going to be a lookup. And we're just going to look up the request and just uh, make sure that it is closed as well here. So let's go to the request here. And I'm going to say where the number is. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that here. So let's go to, we're going to open up our data here. Uh, so currently, you saw that we're in the requested item. So I need to go to the request. I'm gonna expand that so I can see all the fields. And then I wanna go and grab the number from that. So this condition is going to say, hey, I just wanna look up a record. I'm looking up the request. But the number is basically the parent of the requested item. Okay. So once I've done that, I can add another action. that I want to update a record. So update, and then what record do we want to update? We want to update that request record. So the record we just looked up, we can see here in step five, verify this is step five here. Drag uh, that up here. And then I want to add some fields here. So the request state, I want it to be closed canceled. Uh, and the reason for closed canceled is because um, we did just reject it. So, um, so we're adding that here. So now we've got part of the path done. So we've asked for approval uh, and then we're looking to see what do we do when it gets either approved or not approved. So we've rejected it and that therefore we wanna cancel our requested item as well as cancel the request itself. All right. Now we're gonna add an else if. And this is gonna be uh, similar. We're gonna go uh, similar to our rejected one. Uh, we're gonna pull our approval state here and say it's approved. Um, and then we're gonna do a create an action here. So the action I wanna create here is I'm going to create a task if it gets approved. 
Let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, our table here is going to be SC task. And then I'm going to uh, create some, uh, add some fields here. So assignment group is, I'm going to choose hardware for this. And I also want to make sure that this is associated properly here. So I'm going to go ahead and click, type in here, uh, requested item, make sure we've got that uh, ID proper in here. So let's grab the sys ID. And I'm going to add one more field for the request and do something very similar here. Uh, let's see here, we've got the requested item record. We'll go down to request and do the same thing, grab the sys ID of that. All right, now we've got our flow created. If it, uh, if it gets approved, then it will create a task. Um, if it gets rejected, it will close. So uh, we'll stay tuned here and we will test this here in uh, step four here, or part four.